We end tonight with children helping children, helping children all around the world. Here's Michelle Miller. Christmas came early for Harmony Taylor, who got what she wanted most. Ooh, yay. <laughs> the hand she'd been missing since birth. Give me a high five. <laughs> the 3D replacement is the gift of another eight-year-old, also missing his hand. How'd you feel when you gave it to her? I felt happy. We sent him Aiden's measurements on a Friday, and that Monday he had uh, hand finished. After receiving his robo hand earlier this year, Aiden Delisle reached out to others. Downward. Andrew is his father. I think it helps him know that he's not alone, that there's other kids that were born just the same way as him. Over the last six months, father and son have made a dozen printed robotic hands for kids around the world. I just like to see the smile. All part of a 3D prosthetics revolution, restoring bodies and self-esteem. And what do you think of your robo hand? It's hot and it's beautiful. It all began with costume artist Ivan Owen. He designed the first 3D printed hand five years ago for this South African child. Today, there are dozens of designs and volunteers in more than 100 countries. These devices are printed in pieces. Oh, yeah, I see it now. And often assembled by kids for kids. High school robotics clubs, Boy Scouts, even elementary school kids. There's four-year-old Alejandro in Colombia, who was matched with a new Batman arm. And six-year-old Veronica, injured in a fire in her Ugandan village. And how I move it is I go like this. All share the same confidence of Harmony Taylor. Oh, yeah. What do you think this is going to let you do? Um, do the monkey bars. Mm -hmm. And the knowledge that they're not alone. <laughs> Michelle Miller, CBS News, Rockford, Michigan. And that is the CBS Evening News tonight. I'm Jeff Glor. Thanks for watching. Good night.